Hello everybody out there in the music me. This is Mike or Soldier 777 here. And um hope everyone's doing well over the Christmas season. Um my prior video that I showed and uploaded was for Chris for music I've ordered uh before Christmas and I've gotten access to or looked at before Christmas. This video is going to be about music I also ordered before Christmas, but I've reserved certain albums to get Christmas morning. Um, my wife doesn't quite know where to order stuff for me from, from what sites or what specials or deals I have on the go. So I ordered it myself, and then I say, okay, I'll keep this stuff for Christmas morning. You know, so I was not really surprised, but the fact that I don't open the CDs and look at it and size it up until Christmas Christmas morning, right after Christmas morning, um, that kind of thing. And the reason, and even though I'm only working part time, the reason why I can afford uh, a lot of this music is because what I do, I sell off the stuff I have. If if there's an announcement of a new album coming out, a better version, and I have the original version, I'll sell off the original version and put that money towards the future or enhanced version of those albums and get them on pre order. That's what a lot of these. That's why I was able to afford a lot of these uh, albums, even when I'm only working part time. So that's that's how so money get uh, come goes out one hand and comes in or comes in one hand out the other, and uh, with where where it goes a lot of it goes towards his music, and I'm able to support uh, great um, labels uh, like Girder, Boons, and Rocks Productions, and Scott Wire's label, Not Like the Metal. So let's get right to it of what I've got gotten uh, for Christmas. Let's get right to it. So this is from Girder Music. And I've managed to get all the uh, the set of uh, the Leviticus albums. Now back in the day, I had the, uh, the first English album, I Shall Conquer, on a cassette. Now, uh, that was the only one I ever had from, from Leviticus. I wasn't totally uh, into the album at the time, and I find too where it was, it was only a cassette uh, with a single J card. There's no lyrics in it at all to follow along with the with the music. Uh, but um, I no longer had the cassette. But I figured, I and after they announced, a uh, girl announced that they're doing all their albums. I've gotten back and listened to Leviticus, the, you know, the first album, I Shall Conquer, and the rest of their albums. And I found I quite like them. So I decided to get all their albums on CD from, uh, that Gurdon Music has pressed. So here you have I Shall Conquer. And um, here's the inside with the uh, back tray there, which I thought was real neat, the, the yellow tray with the, the band logo. And... Um, then there was the um, um, the strongest power. There you have it, and this alternate cover of the alternate artwork, the CD, and of course a nice blue um, or purple-ish uh, backdrop for the tray for CD. The, and now this is where really, I I found they really hit their stride. Uh, start with this album, Sitting Far to the Earth. This is when it really got really refined and really good, in my opinion. Uh, I never had, like I said, I never only had a first album. I never ever had these these other ones in my collection. But I mean, the inlay, the artwork from Scott the Scott Waters did, or helped enhance, was was quite good. Uh, and like I said, I've heard I previewed all these albums, and they're all great. And they're all right. I found with Leviticus, they eventually, I find with each successive album, they got better and better. I found with Leviticus. And here's her last one, uh, Knights of Heaven, came out in 89. Uh, this one originally came out in 87. I just dropped a couple of CDs in one second. And uh, Strongest Power originally came out in 85. And I Shall Conquer originally came out in 84. So. So here's the uh, Knights of Heaven with the back there, and there you have the inside there. I mean, this is just, I won't take it a booklet, but it's pretty much uh, anywhere from an 8 to a 12 page booklet with like photos and lyrics and, and that kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. 
So, um, here is their uh, live one, Live at Bath Fest 2003, which I thought was a really good album. This is an awesome live album. I thought it was really good. I mean, you know, and of course, uh, here's a red back there. And this is pretty much a Levin Song um, 50 odd minute live album. Really, really good. The only minor thing with this is that um, I know Leviticus put a box set of all their albums back there a year, a couple years ago, uh, maybe a few years ago. I'm not sure when exactly, and I think include the um, video to the concert performance. Would have been nice to include a video with with this CD, but like I said, maybe never had the right to listen to it. I I don't know, but like I said, it, it, you know, either way is a great, a nice little release uh, from them. Uh, great album, and um, if you and if you notice too uh, with these, as I put them all together, kind of has that nice uh, look to it, you know. And also, if you put these, um, I got my mix up now from when the, the order came out. Let me just put them, put them right in the right order. There you have it. Look. So here's their their five albums with uh, in order. And also, if you put these sort of like a like a like a filing cabinet, or like a like a file kind of way, Legends of Rock is all different colors, uh, which is which I thought was really cool. So if you put all these like this, and get this right here. Sort of see the colors, um, which I thought was really cool. If you put these together like this, I don't think anyone ever knows it, but like with Scott Wire doing it, of course Scott Wire is always does great uh, great. Uh, Work with the with the layout and that kind of thing. So here you see the um, the colors of the albums as well, which I thought got yeah, you're going from the yellow to the purple uh, to the blue to the green to the reds. Re really nice uh, to see that there as well. So there you have it. I also picked up the um, orange sticks in uh, together with friends, and I think that CD's popped out there. Oh, it. No, that's where I dropped the CD here. So here is Bjorn Stinkson. Uh, I have to be having the trouble here. I say damage the case there. I need to get it replaced. Um, yeah, I did. Maybe, maybe it still works. Okay. So here's Bjorn Stinkson, together with friends, which is put by uh, Rocks Records. Uh, Bill Baffer's label. And it's a gold disc, and uh, if I ordered that from Gerd Ger Music as well, along with the Leviticus uh, music. And like I said, this is uh, another another great album. I haven't heard the whole thing. I heard parts of it, but I haven't. I got to sit down and really go through the album. And I believe there's a track from this one's on the live album, live at Bob Fest called Majestic and Power. Great, great song. So there you have it. Uh, so that's that. Take care of the Gerder Gerder order, except for one more thing. Which is the Triton Blood of Kings album, which is a great, great release. I got Sean Tiger on vinyl, and I got all of their three albums on vinyl, a uh, CD, uh, plus uh, a lot of the cornerstone. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is a really great album. They have my collection, it's a double disc set, and uh, yeah, so um, I'm, I'll be certainly enjoying this in the coming uh, weeks there. Now, in addition to that, um, I want to show you something. Um, so, I'm a fan of this uh, guy singing, and as you may know, he sang on um, other albums. So, there, um, several months to a few years ago, I picked up these albums uh, Red Sea Blood, which is redone by Rocks Records. And Rock Power Praise, Volume 2 of Christmas Hymns, redone by Gerda Music. And Joshua Surrender, I picked up this up, this up several years ago. Now the thing that these all these albums have in common is that it features a singer, uh, Robin Calabazari. He sang on a track or, track or two on this one. Um, Hark the Herald Angels Sing and O Come All Ye Faithful. Uh, he sang in two songs in this one. 
It was a he sang all the songs, and this was a great bluesy hard rock album. And he sang on the enhanced version of Surrendered by Joshua on a song called Show Me the Way. Now, so we're off to, I, really, I really dig this guy singing. I figured I would pick up uh, another band that he was in called Die Happy. And Die Happy is an offshoot of the band um, Vengeance. Without uh, Roger Martinez. Now, I'm not um, a big Vengeance fan. I do like some of their stuff. Um, I'm not big into the Roger uh, Martinez style of vocals. But I heard these guys back in the day from Metal Edge back in the early 90s. Didn't bother to pick up their stuff back in the day. And even when they were out on rocks for a while, the, the albums that I had in my hand, I didn't bother to pick them up. But I said to myself, you know what? Rocks has got a. Um, Sale and go half price. Uh, I figured I'd get up and get their albums. Before that, I'd, got, I'd gone through their music on YouTube. I found it to be quite good, especially with Robin's vocal power. So I figured I'd pick them up. So I got the Verse Diapi album uh, here uh, with the ultimate artwork. And uh, it's on colored vinyl, of course. If I can get out there. Which I really, really like. There you have it on the yellow spider vinyl. And I also got the um, uh, volume two. There you have it. On the red vinyl, or the blue vinyl. There you have it. So, I'll certainly be enjoying these albums in the coming weeks when I listen to them. And I also picked up, um, uh, where's it to? The CD to uh, the first one. Uh, from Rox as well. This also has the alternate artwork inside of the Gold Dust Edition. I got Volume 2 on, on a future order or pre order from um, 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 Girder Music, the second album, uh, Volume 2, because there's, there's some other stuff that's on pre order, so I include that in with that order as well. That'll be just coming to me soon in the coming months or, or weeks as well. So there you have it. Um, that takes care of that. We also, I also picked up was another album I got from, um, so this is going to be my, um, probably from one band, but I also picked up from, from, um, from, uh, Rocks Records, uh, Narnia, uh, We So Believe, the live album, with a two disc set on black vinyl. So there you have it. Like I said, I really dig this band. And I figured I'd give this one a chance to listen to it. And, uh, you know, and I heard this on YouTube. Quite impressed by the, um, by the music and by uh, Christian Lilligren's vocal power. So I got this on, I ordered this uh, on vinyl. So I look forward to checking this out and listening to the music. Um, now, this next one is um, from a band. Uh, I showed my last video. Now, I was him homing about ordering stuff from the band's website or through uh, um, No Let the Metal, uh, which is part of the Rocks Records. Um, Rock, no Let the Metal, is, as you may know, is Scott Waters label. So I figure I would either support the band directly or support them through uh, Scott's label. And a bit cheaper on the band's website, but um, didn't have the colored vinyl. Um, on some of their stuff, so I figured order from Scott's site, which had a color vinyl because I really like the color vinyl. So here we have um, a few albums or rem my remaining albums to pick up from Mass. So I picked up Fighter, uh, which is their first album, Reach Community 2, which, which got shelved by the label and also com comes with all kinds of demos or unreleased tracks. I got that one. I also got uh, 84 Unchained, which is an enhanced version from Retroactive, which came out in 2010, and contains a, which originally had four songs, uh, but also has a song called Bones. So I picked up that one. And also got the one called Crack of Dawn, um, as well, which originally came out in 2007. It's sort of their comeback album. 
um, there. So that's that's great to get that. Also got um, um, seal black from Mass. So I, I got that one picked up. So there were the ones I picked up from um, from um, Rock uh, Rock Records. Don't like the metal. So I got those picked up. In addition to that, I also got these records from No Like the Metal or Rocks Records. We have the Fighter on Vinyl, which is their, um, there you have it, um, white vinyl, which is really nice. There you have it. And you look a little bit of a gray marble mixed into it too, which is kind of cool. So I picked up that one. Also got a crack of dawn as well. Nice beautiful artwork. And uh, it's got the it's some blue vinyl. As well. Very nice. I should back it there. And I got Sea of Black as well. And this is on red bottle. There you have it. So that's kind of cool to have my collection. In addition to that, I worked from a band directly from their website uh, when two words collide on vinyl. Uh, this is on purple vinyl, thank you, uh, purple vinyl. So this is really good to have in my collection. And I got the CD earlier this year uh, to that album, so it's kind of cool. Um, and I also got the autograph version uh, from the band going on the Christmas EP. So there you have it. There's, this is my mass uh, collection. I got all the music on CD and three albums, no, more than three albums. Uh, four albums on vinyl. There you have it. Um, in addition, I also ordered from Amazon, uh, the Narnia 20th Anniversary, uh, Long of the King on CD. With, and this one has some bonus tracks as well. Uh, Living Water, which is on one of the early albums. Uh, and Can't Get Enough of You. And Miracle, I believe are bonus tracks. So, uh. Very, very, uh, and of course I heard this album and I really liked it. So there you have it. Narnia, Long of the King, uh, 20th Anniversary, uh, uh, Bonus Edition, Enhanced Edition. There you have it. So this, this, is for, this is from Amazon. Also, what my wife also bought me for Christmas is coasters in the shape of a record. If you order for one of these online, online um, um, sites. Um... So this shows, uh, and each one is a different, like this is um, Too Hot, uh, it shows uh, Too Hot to Handle from Sunset Records, which I don't know who they are, but anyway, uh, another one, all of them got different uh, artwork there. These are great when you have a sip of drink and, and watching the YouTube videos for all of you guys on, 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 t on YouTube there, uh, so it's great to have, have these as well. I thought they were kind of cool. So, yeah, so here you go. Kind of cool. I don't think these actually play, but anyway. So, these are kind of cool. So, anyway, folks, this is a long video. Uh, I'm going to cut it off here. This is my complete um, second video of all the music I've, I've had uh, recently. Over, over Christmas. Hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, be sure to comment, um, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think of those bands and albums if you have in your collection. You guys all have a great day. Enjoy the rest of Christmas and all the best. Bye now.